Okay, uh, hello guys, this is Nitesh here. So in our last tutorial, the things which I have showed you that is uh, uh, based on your Amazon Web Services. That was uh, one of the distributions of Hadoop. So I have showed you that how to create a cluster and all. And apart from that, how to run the operations. That was the word count. And based on that, uh, we have uh, got the output also. So that was uh, the analyze output. So in this tutorial, that's your easylearning.guru tutorials. And this uh, session I'll be going to show you that how exactly we'll be going to run uh, queries in Hive. So let's uh, have a look guys. So first of all you need to open your terminal over here. As you can see we have uh, opened our uh, <coughs> terminal. Let's start with our Hive. Um, before starting we'll be going to start with sudo Hive. Enter the password. As you can see now, guys, uh, we are inside a hive shell. And first of all, the first thing that uh, we'll be going to do over here, look at the databases. That uh, what are the databases which we have created earlier or it was uh, present inside your hive shell? So based on that, uh, we'll be going to follow the syntax. That's your show databases. As you can see over here, followed by your semicolon. That's your termination section. Uh, so as you can see, these are basically the databases which is present inside your Hive shell. So now uh, we'll be going to create one of the databases, a new database. Inside we'll be going to uh, create some tables. So let's uh, check out that what exactly the commands are or the syntax that I'll be going to write over here. So now first uh, <coughs> create a database. Uh, followed by the syntax uh, that will be your create database uh, and easy learning that's the name of my database which I'll be going to create uh, with the help of uh, create command that's a uh, create database and followed by the name of a uh, database that you are gonna <coughs> that you're gonna create click on this as you can see uh, it shows okay that means our database has been created so let's have a look whether our database has been created or not. For that uh, same command, that's your show databases followed by your termination. So as you can see now, uh, the easy learning, that's the name of our database which we have created just now and it's been created. So now, <coughs> first, the thing that uh, we have to do that uh, we have to use this particular database. Let's uh, check that whether something inside a not that's your tables is uh, residing inside a not so let's have a look uh, so before that uh, I'll be going to use the command use uh, because we are using this particular database that's your easy learning so that's uh, our database followed by a termination so yes we can use it the OK it uh, indicates that we can use this and just have a look inside whether something is uh, there or not by writing the command that is your show tables as you can see it's okay that means uh, nothing is there it's presently empty so inside this particular database now I'm going to show you that how we'll be going to create a table followed by the command that's your create table and table name so in this case I'll be going to give a table name that's your stock so this is my table name followed by a termination <clears throat> not termination exactly in this case you have to create a table so in this case you'll be going to put some elements inside your table so let's start uh, with your parenthesis next line I'll be going to create some of the elements like this that's your stoke underscore ID that's the name of my one of the elements and that's uh, the value that I'll be going to take inside stock ID that will be in the form of your integers followed by a comma. Why? Because uh, some more elements I'll be going to put inside <coughs> this particular table. Stoke underscore price. That's uh, the second element that I'll be going to use over in this table followed by float. Uh, the, <coughs> the values will be in the float and followed by a comma because one more field that I'll be going to insert in this particular table that will be your stoke underscore name. 
and it will be in the form of your string. So as you can see, I've completed the steps. Now close by parenthesis. Again, coming towards the next. Here I'll be going to uh, use uh, some of the syntax uh, that basically use uh, to separate your elements. The elements like your stoke underscore id, uh, stoke underscore price, and stoke underscore need. That's uh, basically these are the elements that uh, we'll be going to create inside our table. So for that, uh, we'll be going to use uh, one of the syntax that is uh, your row format delimited row format delimited that will be in your first line coming towards the next line here fields terminated fields terminated by uh, inside your single quotes uh, put your comma and followed by your termination basically here row format delimiters basically it's the delimiters for the row format which we are using that is uh, for our fields as you can see the elements like your stoke id stoke price your stoke name basically these elements will get separated by using the uh, fields terminated <coughs> the row format delimiter which we are using over here that's your comma so as you can see comma which is uh, inside your <coughs> inside your single code so basically the fields will get uh, terminated by comma that I'll be going to show you where exactly we are uh, like separating the elements. So let's have a look. So now as you can see we have completed the steps that is uh, for creation of table. So click on this as you can see uh, it uh, indicates uh, it's okay that means your table has been created. So let's uh, have a look and for that and the main thing is that guys though we are inside your high shell so the next step that you need to follow is uh, we have to load the data that's your input file from the local section that's your local in path that is your local file system as you can see over here right behind my side uh, behind this terminal so this is uh, our input file that I'll be going to take inside the high shell so this particular file which I have been created inside the local file system that is uh, basically this is your stoke underscore ID, this is the stoke underscore price, and this is basically the stoke underscore name. That's your name of some of the <coughs> renowned uh, stock exchange. That's your Bombay Stock Exchange, Calcutta, NASDAQ, your New York Stock Exchange, uh, London Stock Exchange. So basically, these are the uh, quite uh, common names which we have taken over here. That's your stock underscore name. And here, guys, as you can see, the fields, that's your element has been separated by comma. As you can see, this is in your integer format, this is uh, in your float, and this is your strings. And as you can see, these fields have been separated using comma. By using comma, we have separated these fields. So basically, that's why we have used a row format delimiter. Basically, these are the limiters, and our fields has been terminated by comma. So this is your input file, which is uh, residing inside your local file system. Now that this particular section, that's your local file system, will be going to load inside a high shell. So let's uh, follow the syntax. By this syntax, you'll be able to <coughs> load the data from your local file system to your high shell. Followed by the command, that's your load, load data local local in path this is exactly the command that uh, we have to give. And apart from that, the next step that you need to do is drag this particular input uh, input file inside your terminal like this. And again, followed by a command that is your overwrite. This is the command that you need to give. As you can see now, overwriting into the table. You have to give the table name too. That's uh, into table. And your table name Thing, the table which we have created that's your stock as you can see click on uh, right <coughs> the table name that's your stock so this is the thing and followed by a termination that uh, that's <coughs> that is by semicolon click enter as you can see copying data from file and it has been loaded data into the <coughs> section that is inside your uh, hive shell 
So as you can see based on that they have given that is deleted HDFS. That means whatever the data which was there inside your HDFS, the things about your uh, Hive, the queries which we are running over here. So it's been deleted and now that particular section has been loaded inside your Hive shell. So now we can check the data whether it's been loaded or not followed by the command select star it is uh, guy, uh, guys your hive query language it is quite similar it gives you the uh, all total all environment like you're seeing as your structured query language like uh, the way you are using like your struct like uh, your select your create show use all these basically quite similar to your structured query language so <clears throat> by writing this command you'll be able to get the uh, details of your table that's the stock which you have created just now that is a select star from stock click on this as you can see this is exactly the input which we have given inside our input file and now it has been loaded inside your hive shell and so presently the data which we are accessing over here this is inside your hive shell so this is the thing and now the next thing that uh, we'll be going to uh, run some queries like uh, have a look select star from star that's the name of my table uh, where our star underscore name now let's have a look stock uh, where stock underscore name is equals to it should be in uh, single quotes uh, where NYSE that's the New York Stock Exchange so let's have a look based on that it will give us the value that is the value which is uh, inside your NYSE so we have selected this as you can see this is your <coughs> the total uh, map and reducing section has been run it is an uh, like it's an internal process so it's a uh, what do uh, your mapper and reducer though they are running so that will be like a behind the section behind the scene that's your generic mapper and reducer has been run and based on that it has given us the output that's your 107 as you can see New York Stock Exchange 107 that's the ID and this is uh, the value that's your price which is in your format <coughs> which is in your float format and this is the name based on this we have run a query so this is our output looks like and the next thing also you can do like uh, check the values uh, let's check one more value and guys it's not like that uh, it's a user like uh, if you talk about uh, your cases like your upper case or lower case you can write it as like this also capital in capital as well as in small letter also so this is a select star Let's uh, run one more query. So it's star from stock. Where stock underscore ID equals to that is one zero three. So based on that, so as you can see behind your mapper and reducer has been run successfully and based on that it has given us the output it's the value it's based on your i so this is how while running the queries inside hive shell we can get the data and we can run our queries across the data sets too like this is our data as you can see over here and i guess uh, now you guys are clear with this that how uh, to start with the hive shell that starting with your pseudo hive and inside we'll be going to uh, get the databases like uh, if you want to create or uh, first of all if you want to see that whether how many databases or what are the databases which is present inside your hive shell so based on that uh, you'll be able to show by following the uh, by running the command that's your show databases and apart from that uh, you can after getting the database like this as you can see after running the show database now the next command that is uh, the things which we have created that is uh, we have created the database Followed by the command create database easy learning that's the name of our database we, we have to use at the same time and not show tables that means whether some tables has been inside uh, that particular database or not if it is not uh, if it is empty it will show you like this that's okay 
That means it is empty. So in that case, you'll be going to create the new table inside your database. So this is how we create our table inside our Hive shell. And based on that, after creating, you have to put the delimiters. That's your row format delimited and fields terminated by a comma. That's basically the syntax which we use mainly to separate our elements. And next step that you need to follow that is look data local in path. That means uh, the data which we have created inside your local file that uh, you have to load it inside your Hive shell, like this, the things which I have showed you earlier. And drag the file name. And this is uh, <coughs> the command that's override into table stock, like this. We have to do the things. And next, that uh, final thing that you need to do is run your queries like this. Select star from stock like this, or select star from stock where stock underscore name. That's why <coughs> NYSE, that's your New York Stock Exchange. Same case with this. That's your select star from stock where stock underscore ID 10 so, <coughs> 103. So this is how, based on that, uh, it'll run a query and it will give you the output. So this is how we create the things inside a Hive shell. And the next thing that you can do is uh, like a draw table. That means you uh, you can delete the table followed by the command. That's your drop. Let's have a look. Drop table stock. And guys, let's have a look. If we are having a database inside a Hive shell, so let's uh, first try with the database that whether we can uh, delete directly the database or not. So based on that, followed by the command drop database. And let's uh, and just uh, be focused with this and just uh, have a look what exactly it will gonna show you. <clears throat> so as you can see, followed by the command drop database easy learning, that's uh, the name of our and that's the name of our database which we have created. So let's uh, try that. What exactly the things that we're gonna show? So as you can see, it has showed us the error that's uh, basically here inside our database. We have created one table, and that table that means your database easy learning is not empty. That's why, and the things which I have showed you mainly to make you clear that directly you can't delete or can't drop your database. First, inside your database, whatever the things are there, that's your table which we have created, but at first you have to delete that one, that is uh, by following the command that's drop, and then only you'll be able to drop the database. So now, let's check out this command, drop table stock, that's the table which we have created inside our easy learning. Click on this. As you can see, now it's been empty. That means uh, your table has been emptied. <clears throat> the next thing that you can do is drop database easy learning. That's the name of our database which we have created. So now follow this command. As you can see, now it has showed OK. That means our database has been deleted inside from a Hive shell. So let's check this followed by the command show databases so as you can see now uh, easy learning that's the name uh, of our database which we have created just a couple of minutes before now it's been deleted so this is how we create the things and we delete inside your hive shell and I guess uh, everybody enjoyed this session and thank you and just uh, subscribe to our tutorials. That's www.easylearning.guru. Thank you guys for watching.